So I think autophagy is essentially a very important thing and that's why one of the primary things we tell people is do fasting. And another primary thing that we tell people who are fasting is that do exercise. Let's kind of take off on a tangent a little bit and say, let's say this person is fasting 18 hours a day for one month. Started, just started now. What will happen to their weight? It'll go down. At the end of one month, they keep fasting and they go to two months. What happens to their weight? It plateaus. Why does it plateau? I mean, they're still heavy. Let's say they're still heavy. The reason it plateaus is because your metabolism slows down. So it's important while you're exercising to do, uh, while you're fasting to do some exercise because exercise jacks up your metabolism. And what's the kind of exercise you should do when you're fasting? Perfect workout is good. I don't think it's, uh, it's bad. The, uh, what I meant by that question is that you should do low intensity to moderate intensity exercise. So strength training is good. So strength training is good. You know, I, I think that's all right. It's at only a 20 minute session or something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. So the reason uh, you want to do low intensity or moderate intensity exercise is because high intensity exercise will force the body to burn carbs. Whereas low intensity exercise or moderate intensity, you can still be burning fat. And so your body will not have to go and convert muscle to make glucose for your exercise. You see what I mean? So that's why when you're fasting, especially a prolonged fast, and you're exercising in the fasted state after 12 or 14 hours, cut down the intensity of your exercise so that you don't have to make glucose from breaking your muscle.